Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and Leo Patites. Fellas, I feel like a mobile sniper schnitzel who is punishing everyone today. Uh, today I had a day off, you know, it's a fourth day of the week whenever I'm recording a video. So, you know, after a full day of chill and doing absolutely nothing, refreshing my brain and feeling great. Um, we are going back to the job um, at the middle of the night to prepare the video for tomorrow, aka for today, whenever the video is released. And let's see how my brain will work after, you know, all day of chill and relaxation. And yes, fellas, I need those days as well to simply turn off my brain and to do absolutely nothing. That's how uh, much I have done today. And I don't really think it is a bad uh, I uh, think to be fair with you. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we can make enemies regret their life choices. Or maybe I am going to be the one who will regret playing like a Kaku. Who knows? Okay, first things first, we punish the enemy without taking one for the team. This is already a bonus and this is already um, very, very, very good stuff. We are going to build a nest for ourselves, fellas. I'm like a bird at this point. This is how I feel like and this is what I am working for. All in all, just to say that for some people who never ever played with Leo Pata, this tank is awesome. This tank is pretty much perfect sniper schnitzel. It is capable of punishing enemies without bigger problems whatsoever although it is not so simple to play with this vehicle this tank is for uh, extremely good players in my opinion to make the tank work to let's say perfection if i can say so anyways looking into the gun stats 420 alpha damage 278 millimeters of penetration which is awesome 1.4 actually more more like 1.5 Shell velocity, I'm speaking about kilometers, and if you are willing to load the gold, your shells are traveling faster, and um, pretty much you have more penetration, so not a big surprise. Anyways, so far so good. Three couple of shots, although we have a very, very hard ma matchup for ourselves. It might not look like this yet, but believe me, to win this game, it is going to be a bit of the problematic situation, I would say. Okay, very nice. Oh, <gasps> cow! Mm. I'm not very happy for tracking the cow instead of doing damage for a cow, but unfortunately I cannot do anything about that. Look at this Ty is trying to escape through the middle of the field, and we are going to say hello for him. This could have been a blind shot. Ooh, char footer sniping from the back. Very, very, very smart. Don't worry, we are feeling completely fine and there is still a lot of things for us to do. All we need to do, we need to open our eyes and punish them whenever we have a chance. And believe me, um, we are going to make chances for ourselves to simply spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. You will see that yourself. Sty is thinking about escaping, that is alright, how are you doing, kaboom in the side, and he is taking uh, um, a quick trip to the garage, excellent, meanwhile Charfooter is trying to escape as well, yes Charfooter, you will enjoy yourself, believe me, you will, bam, another shot into the side, such a beautiful tank fellas, and the thing is, nowadays, yeah, I get it, nowadays there is those busy, uh, which are pretty much countering anything um, what doesn't have a decent armor if I can say so but it's still hell of a fun to hit the shots whenever you are aiming right um, obviously it's not a snap shooter or something it is it is the tank which is reliably going to hit the shots when you are aiming and it is sometimes you know you just need flavor which you can trust and you know how it tastes like instead of uh, you know testing something new if you know what i mean this is how i feel like whenever i am playing with leo pata this is how i feel like fellas i know what i'm going to get 
By playing with this tank I will hit most of my shots and I am going to punish enemies every single time whenever they are going to make a silly goose mistake. If I am missing the shot that basically means either I aim it very very badly or RNG is definitely not on my side. And as you can, and as you can see the 87 is pretty much a meatball in this kind of situation. This gentleman cannot do absolutely anything and he is just pretty much getting claimed and getting farmed, however you would call this, right? By the way, there is still a lot of things uh, for us to... Oh, ho, 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 I see! Oh, I see, my man. I mean, how otherwise we would have a video without baboon dancing in the middle. Fellas, it is a pleasure to meet you, uh, don't hesitate to say hi for me in the game. On my main account, I do not use anonymizer, it doesn't matter what is the day, or how do I feel, or whatever else, I do not use anonymizer, right? So, you can be sure about this if you are seeing skill from skill one clan, that means it is me. Anyways. All we need to do, we need to hit him once again and I am going to be happy. I see the Borat coming, believe me, I can't see him, but I still have a hope and a dream to hit him once again. Although my hopes and dreams are shattered at this point. But yes, hopes and dreams, thank you, thank you. You see, never worried whatsoever, beautiful game. And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? 4.7 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage, sniper, schnitzel, medal, high caliber, confederate, second class, 1.1 base experience, and we made quite a bit of the profits, although most of the profits are coming from uh, uh, the daily missions, which is completely understandable. Such a beautiful tank. Let's go for another one. Round number two. One more thing which I really want to tell you, I prefer Leo Pata over tier 10 Leo 1. Even Leo 1 is a better tank overall, more mobile, more accurate, better DPM, you name it. Leo Pata has a special vibe for me. Obviously, it has something to do with this vehicle being uh, a tier 9. Tier 9 matchmaking is just day and night compared to the tier 10 and that's why it is so beloved speaking about the World of Tanks players, right? If you like to play higher tiers, probably tier 9 is going to be uh, favorite matchmaking for you because comparing to the tier 10s, tier 10 matchmaking is like diarrhea, you know? Uh, once in a while we are... Uh, we have it, but it doesn't necessarily mean we enjoy it, right? That's how I would describe this whole situation, if I can say so. Okay, three, two, one, bam. Unfortunately, I missed the high explosive shell. And the worst thing of all this, I did not penetrate the high explosives in the first place, right? Whenever we went for it. Ooh, I am misaiming. That is my fault. Skill, you were so excited in the first game and now you are misaiming. Shit, I said. Fellas, we got this. We got this. We are chilling and we are enjoying ourselves. I know we are going to start aiming properly. Look at this beauty. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now, Skill, I have a question. Why are you shooting high explosives? High explosives has extremely good penetration. Four high explosives overall, right? So what that means, that means if you are penetrating, you are doing, uh, let's say, 20% more damage. And whenever I see a light tank moving through the open field, I will always go for high explosives. Well, obviously, if I am not trying to beat some kind of Russian light tank or something, right? It is very important thing to say. And by the way, looking into this situation, we are booming in this matchup. Um, all we are doing, we are opening our eyes and we are trying to snipe the living crap out of enemy forces who are playing in the middle and there is plenty of them. All I need to do, I need to aim properly and I should be fine. With Leo, I can tell you one thing, once again. If you are missing, that means either RNG is cocking on you, right? So RNG is saying eat kaku, like in this situation, us shooting Vaka over 500 meter distance. Come on, it is a side of the tank. This should be penetration. This should be quite straightforward penetration, I would say. But 
um, we missed. So that is unfortunate fate and this is the game, right? But usually if you are aiming properly, you should be fine and you should be able to spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. Look at this barbecue as an example. Cover 4. Peaked sideways, instantly took one for the team. Beautiful. Now Fosh. Same situation for Fosh. Maybe some barbecue. No, definitely not. Um, I was considering to hold my shell for a moment but he just simply stopped moving himself so since he stopped moving himself what can i do okay big boy how are you doing beautiful aim i am taking a second to aim in this situation because i can see my aim is not ideal at this point um and it works just fine right okay links Beautiful shot once again, good lead and everything, excellent. Now, Mr. Lynx, he just hit the rock, 3 to 1 now, unfortunate. Okay, we need to figure out how to make a bit of pressure and in this situation I am going to get involved. What we know, we know the Panther and we know Lynx, both of them are sitting here in the middle, right? We are very very well aware of that, we know this. Plus on top of that, enemies have Waffle, who never ever was spotted. This is also extremely important thing to say, but once again, not that big of a deal. I think we should be alright. Lynx is dead. Now, Mr. Waffle, how are you doing? Waffle. No. Trying to run? Not so fast, buddy. Not so fast. Excellent. And there is still plenty of use for us to gain and to do. Look at this matchmaking, fellas. Even though it's 9 to 2, we managed to punish every single guy who was doing a silly goose mistake. And we are booming at this point. Taking our time to aim. Doesn't really matter even though we are Amoract. I am feeling relatively fine, although Amoract twice. This is a bit of the problem. I need to escape. I do not really want to get slaughtered by... Uh, Leo Pata for obvious reasons and in the same time Mr. Panther no how are you doing beautiful that is okay I am feeling fine fellas Leo Pata spanking us in the side doesn't really change absolutely anything we are okay I mean okay we got why Samurai but what can you do what can you do boys and girls ladies and gentlemen sometimes you need to take one for the team and sometimes you need to say sorry that's all you can do. So at this point I am waiting until Leo Pata would get spotted. Obviously I could try to peek and react quicker than he will, but he is definitely, he definitely has advantage. Eh, you know what, YOLO, let's go. No. Beautiful. We reacted properly. 4.7 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage, great. Okay, good. Like I said, 4.8 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage could have been um, a bit better game, but I'm the same at myself, right? I can't complain about this. And in the same time, couple of shots, we are RNG fault, but oh well, what can you do? You are not going to win um, against the RNG, right? Now, speaking about the profits, 75 thousand profits. Thank you. Next. Okay, fellas, third game. Let's see what we can do in Studzanke. Also, I want to be very, very honest with you, fellas. Nowadays, uh, whenever I am doing YouTube videos, right, um, I am not showing the games in row. What do I mean by saying this? For example, this is like the seventh game when I am playing with Leo. I want to show you a decent performance in the first place. And in the second place is nowadays when the game is 5 to 15 and some games are lasting for a couple of minutes. I mean, yesterday as an example, right? I really want to highlight this. We made top uh, three favorite medium tanks video. And you know what? The video was 20 minutes. That is, that is absolutely outrageous and it is absolutely insanity, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, that being said, you are seeing uh, a bit better games than on average, right? And I believe that is fair information for you and you need to know this because usually whenever I was doing YouTube videos I was showing the games in a row, how the things are looking like, if the game is bad, oh well, what can we do? But in the same time, 
in the current world of tanks once again just to uh, put some transparency uh, whenever whenever I'm doing let's say 3,000 damage or something it's not that first of all it is not that interesting second of all um, sometimes I just simply cannot do more you know it's just how it goes when the game is three or four minutes or whenever I am making mistake it happens right so yeah this is the whole information and I want to make uh, uh, it very clear to understand right so from now on, what I will try to do, I will try to show you better games overall, right? Hopefully, the standard for um, for a tier 9, we can have as a bare minimum 4,000 damage and assisting damage and whatnot. And uh, for a higher tier, hopefully more, right? That is the whole point, and this is what we are looking for. Okay, so what we want to do... I really want to eliminate this T-44. I think we should be able to do that. Yeah, skill, you overpicked. That doesn't really matter. Believe me, it just doesn't matter. I am feeling fine. I can see the score is 6-2 to two and I am trying to grapple as much uh, of the free damage as we physically and possibly can at this point. Just how it goes, right? Meanwhile, T-54, I am going for a free shot here. Unfortunately, we are missing it. Since we haven't aimed at fully, I just cannot blame the tank, right? Okay. Let's see what we can do at this point. I really want to spot the Ajax Tiger. But I do not really think I am going to be able to. Aha, uh -huh, chair located. Beautiful. How are you doing? Nice. Today, by the way, whenever I am playing the game, I am struggling against the uh, char miles for some weird reason. Usually, it is not that hard tank for me to deal with, uh, and it is not that solid tank to begin with, but today I am struggling a bit. But once again, that is understandable. Today, as a day, I was chilling, and I was enjoying myself, and I decided to have a proper break and a proper day off. Whenever all you do is uh, you eat some pizza, and you are chilling in a way, right? Okay, what do we need to do? We need to get involved. And that is it, fellas. Yeah, four minute game. It is absolutely insanity, fellas, what is happening in the game currently. At least in my humble opinion. This is absolutely insanity. Okay, free shot just like so. Thank you very much. Now what I would love to do, I would love to beat the living crap out of this Mr. Tortoise. So let's see. Can we spank him like there is no tomorrow? Sure thing we can. Beautiful. I really want to go for another one. Hopefully we can penetrate him and send him straight to the garage. Ah, poor tortoise. He already gave up. He raised his PP and he is saying, fine. Don't hit the guy who is already on the ground, you know? I am, uh, I am already taking one for the team. How dare you? Probably this is what this gentleman is thinking. So, yeah. Um... Here you go, fellas. That is the session with Leo. But uh, once again, the games are extremely, extremely quick. And, you know, with the tanks like Leo Pata, I do not really want to be uh, that much of uh, aggressive in the game. You know, I want to take a bit slower approach but the games which I had tonight um, yeah they are, they are to say they are the least a bit special right? But this is the Christmas season fellas, this is holiday season it just how it goes looking into all of this fellas we have 3.4 thousand damage, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, it wasn't horrible, we finished at first by experience and first by the damage and we got 50 thousand profits but all in all I played 7 games, you have seen 3 and my performance is like 3 thousand damage and 1 thousand assisting damage which is not good for me but in the same time, let's give it a pass. So, fellas, Leo Pata in action. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a great time together with us. If you never ever played with this vehicle, I would highly recommend to do so. Uh, it, is, it is a beautiful tank and I think it is definitely worth some respect. And now, without further ado, um, thank you very much, fellas, and see you very, very soon. Skills out for today. Peace.